Hi everyone, I finally found the Maybelline Baby Lips Electro Collection. I was really excited about these because I'm a huge Maybelline Baby Lips fan to begin with. I already knew I had to get every color. And I've been testing these out for maybe like a couple days, like three days I got them. And I can't say that there is one that I don't like. Um, I like them all. They're all very... They all smell good. They all have pretty colors. Um, well, actually, these two are kind of clear, but I'll show you swatches. I found them all at a Harmon's in Bed Bath & Beyond, and um, I had to call around because there isn't one in my area. They aren't going to come out at, like, Rite Aid's and CVS and Walgreens, Target, maybe Walmart kind of stores until July. I tweeted Maybelline asking them when they would be coming out at those stores, and they told me July. So if you don't have a Harmon's near you, or if you just don't want to try to find one, then... Um, you'll have to wait until July to get these. So I could not wait. I had to get them all because I was just like, it's a whole new set. Like, yeah, I'm kind of crazy when it comes to baby lips. The only thing that's different about this formula compared to the original formula is that these don't have any SPF in them. They all kind of have a fruity-ish scent, but each one has its own unique scent and flavor, if that makes any sense. So now I wanted to show you what they look like on the lips because... I think it's really important. Right now I'm wearing the color Strike a Rose, which is kind of like a neon coral pinky kind of tone. This is like two coats, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like with a little bit more. You can still see your natural lip color kind of showing through, so it's not like it's going to give you an opaque coverage or anything, but the color is just more vibrant the more that you put on. Strike a Rose doesn't smell as fruity as the other ones do, but it still kind of has that fruity-ish scent, and it's really good. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I don't really think it smells like roses very much. This is what Strike a Rose looks like. So I just took off Strike a Rose, and it kind of leaves a little bit of a stain, but it doesn't bother me because I think it looks nice. Um, the other colors do stain as well, so just keep that in mind when I show you lip swatches of all the other colors that my lips are kind of extra pinky-ish. Berry Balm isn't as pigmented as Strike a Rose or Pink Shock, um, but I do find that it gives a a very light purpley berry tint, but it's nothing it's nothing at all like it looks in the tube. So even if you layer this one up a lot, it doesn't really get more pigmented than this. Berry Balm smells like kind of like raspberries and strawberries and like Fruit Loops mixed together. <laughs> so here's Berry Balm. So now I'm going to show you what Minty Sheer looks like. It's pretty sheer on the lips. So Minty Sheer scent is very spearmint. It reminds me a lot of like Wrigley Spearmint gum. It smells exactly like that. And it's pretty clear on the lips. So you don't have to worry about this green color. So next up is Pink Shock. This one is really, really pigmented. It's like a Barbie pink, like a a hot pink, like a really hot pink. The scent of Pink Shock reminds me exactly of this Nivea Lip Butter and Raspberry Rose. So this is what Pink Shock looks like on the lips. Next up is Fierce and Tangy. So this one is pretty clear too. This exact color won't show up on your lips, so don't worry about yellow either. Fierce and Tangy, even though it's clear, I really love it because it smells just like Fruity Pebbles. Like the cereal. <laughs> this is what Fierce and Tangy looks like. And last is O Orange. On the camera, this is kind of looking pinky because my lip color is showing through. But in person, it looks like a lighter version of Coral Crush. So if you thought this one was too strong for you, I think you might want to check out O Orange. It kind of reminds me of like Pledge. I know that's weird, but it reminds me of like orange scented Pledge. That's what O Orange looks like my tissue that's oh orange see that's how it, it looks like in person so here's what they all look like up close so here's an arm swatch of all six shades starting from left to right is berry balm minty sheer strike a rose pink shock fierce and tingy and oh orange all of them have a pretty shiny finish, as you can see, this is in natural sunlight. You can see that Minty Sheer and Fierce and Tangy, the green and yellow ones, 
kind of have a tint, but it doesn't really show up on the lips. This is what the packaging looks like, for, just so you can know when you first see it at the store. Just, just remember that these have black tubes, and the little tab on the top is black. Baby Lips claims that when you use these, 88% had smoother lips, 82% had less dry lips, 70% had suppler lips, and 83% had better looking lips based on panelist self-evaluation after one week. I do feel like my lips feel less dry and um, obviously they look smoother and suppler when they feel less dry. Yeah, so I would say that those claims are all true. Um, I have no I have normal lips right now and um, I've used baby lips in the past when I have chap lips and they they do heal lips but it does take about a week so um, these claims are pretty much true from what I've experienced. The formula is really smooth, um, it's really silky, it's easy to put on. It just glides right on like effortlessly. You don't really need a mirror to apply these. That's why I love them, I always have them in my purse. Some people say they have bleeding with the color but I've never experienced that before so I'm gonna say that they don't bleed. So when you first put them on they have a bit of shine. If you were to blot them with the tissue, I mean it takes the shine away if you don't want the shine so they can be either or they can be matte if you blot but when you apply them directly from the tube they're pretty shiny and I paid three dollars each for these at Harmon's beauty department inside Bed Bath & Beyond like I said these aren't gonna be out in most drugstores until July and Maybelline directly told me that um, I want to talk a little bit about the packaging um, I really like that the cap is long because sometimes with these type of caps I accidentally like nick the actual lip balm inside so I find that I don't do that with these long caps and I really like those these are twist up lip balms I've never had them break on me I've never had the product scrape on the sides on me if you keep them in a really hot car they might get a little melty but I've never had the product actually like melt completely before my favorite from this collection are definitely Striker Rose and Pink Shock. They're the most pigmented, and I think that they're the most flattering colors. I mean, other than clear, but if you're looking for a tint, definitely try one of these because I think they'll look good on everybody, and I think they'll also show up on everybody, which is really important. So that concludes my thoughts on the Maybelline Baby Lips Electro Collection, and I'll also have a blog post on these with photos and more details, just in case you want to know more about these. So that concludes this review, and thank you so much for watching.